numbed out and why did I have to know all that I know and feel so separate all these years? Like, I wouldn't, you know, why, could, why couldn't I just be, you know, the guy who does that and I just get to ascend and I don't have to do all that I did? Can you, can you address that? Or are, you, are, you, are, you referring, are you referring to in- ignorance as bliss? Yeah! <laughs> I am! It's like, Thorne, why couldn't I have been ignorant? And why couldn't you be ignorant? I pointed that myself. <laughs> so, can, can you address that? Absolutely, it's, it wasn't your journey to, and I mean that's a that's a cliche, sure, but it, it wasn't <laughs> your journey to, right? And the fact is that you're you're playing a very important role by having the responsibilities that you've undertaken to to bring it to the people, to to help spread the message, to be a conduit, to to broadcast. Um, you know, you, you're an incredible interface for me. You're an incredible interface for so many others throughout your journey in the media. And so you needed that level of awareness. You need this to to grasp the concepts of the changes because you're helping to nurture and guide so many people. It's incredible the responsibility that you have and so wondrous. (laughs) It's very humbling. Well, thank you. (laughs) Because it's like I often say, Don, you know, it's like I love that. Ignorance is bliss. Don, why couldn't I be ignorant? I have asked that question, I don't know how many times. Why me? You know. (laughs) Yeah, no, I've had that experience too. I have, I have on many occasions said, what do you mean you want me to speak up about this? Why? (laughs) Yeah. It's like, I just want to be little old me. (laughs) It's like, because you can. (laughs) You know good and darn well why. And, that, and that's how I felt too, guys. I mean, you know, look at look, look, look at what I'm saying. You know, I'm, I know, I'm telling, I know. I, I I respect that. That's why I'm having this conversation with you because you've done you've done even you've been like way out there even more than I have by a big oh, shot. I mean, know? to tell people that this whole you know, they say there's so many people out there saying, look, 2012, it's not the end of the world. It's it's just a load of crap, and you know, right. And I'm out there saying, well. Honestly, guys, um, I've got a different take on it. It literally is the end of the world, but not in the fee-based mode that you know some people right. like to look at it. It's actually a birthing of a new way of life. Where well, endings are always beginnings. So when yeah. it, you know, yeah. if it's no, the it's end of everything, thing. then it's, it's, like, it's, it's the beginning of it. Yeah. If it's and the I end struggle. of everything, it's the beginning of everything else. Oh, I want people to know how much I have struggled. And then, you know, to be going into these other realities and to have meetings in the fifth dimension and then to come back and then to be going on, on to be taken into an underground base and then to come back. And, you know, my life just kept having all these experiences and each time I was having the experience and understanding why I was having them. And it was all to do with what's going on here. And it was all to do with my journey of, of speaking out. This is, you know, I didn't have this journey of ignorance as bliss because it's my obligation and responsibility to humanity to speak out, to say what's going on. And there's a lot of people out there that know. They know that this reality is deconstructing. They know they did the time travel experiments in Montauk in the 60s and 70s. They know that every time they went forward in the time chair, that the moment they hit 21st of March 2013, this whole reality ceased to exist and there was nothing but light. They've done it, Mm -hmm. okay? They've done it over and over again. They've been preparing since then, decades and decades. They've been preparing behind the scenes. Underground bases, a base on Mars. You know, they're they're interfacing with these T's. It's all happening while everybody's just going to work and paying the bills and watching the footy and going to their favorite movies and all that sort of thing. You know, all this other stuff. Obedient workers, right. Yeah. And all this other stuff's going on around everybody, and they don't even realise it. And uh, and and nobody has no. Everyone's too scared to get up and say it. And so many 2012 researchers who've looked into the main calendar and everything, they know how profound the change is going to be, but they won't actually say it because it'll damage the book sales and their CD sales and the talks that they do because it it, it jolts people too much to actually tell it how it is. And, and I want to let people know I'm not in it for that. I'm in it to, to share with my beloved humanity reality. Okay? I'm not in it for anything else. And the truth is that 
the moment you start connecting with Mother Earth, and I urge everybody to do this, please connect with Mother Earth, and don't take my word for it, ask her yourself. Ask mm -hmm. Father Son. Mm -hmm. Please do not take my word for what's about to come. You've got to know this for yourself. Right. And, and, the, and the beauty of it is, Gary and, and Kimberly, the beauty of it is, we've all got the universe within. We've all got the truth within. So as people go to this next level of awakening, they will know this for themselves. And I'm getting emails from people. Man, I knew this was going to happen to Mother Earth, but no one was talking about it, and I thought I was deluded. And all of a sudden, people are just like, yeah, finally, this is what I've been feeling all my life. Uh -huh. And they know the changes are coming, and that's the beauty of it. I can say it because it's reality. It's the truth, if you want to label it that. And we have it all within. So I wanted to share that. Great, and I, I, I don't want to keep you much longer, but I just want to say this because I've had the opportunity to speak to hundreds of people about this over the last seven years. And mm. one of the things that I love about you, George, is because you were disconnected to anybody else. You were just living your own knowing, your own view, and, that, and that's, what, that, that, that's what drew me to you and your message because... Your message was in sync with hundreds of other people who have the same message and my own inner knowing. It's not just what others have to say, but it's my own inner knowing about how things were progressing and where we were going. Your message and, and was in, in sync, yet it was it was not influenced by anyone. You know? Right. Yeah. And, and I know others, and so and as I you know had the opportunity to speak to hundreds of people. And I've said, hey, do you know this person? And they say, I never heard of that person. Uh, do you know that person? Never heard of that person. And that was just so fascinating to me because I'm in a position to present these hundreds of people and their knowing, being able to put it out to other people. And the biggest fascination to me was that you didn't know them and he didn't know you and they didn't know each other. And that was what, for me, was phenomenal because you're all saying the same thing and I'm saying the same thing and we're in sync and we never even discussed this before. And so mm. it's so fascinating to be having this conversation and supporting each other in our own inner knowing because that's what it's all about. That's what co-creation is about. Is it's like, wait a minute, I didn't just make this up. I'm not crazy. I'm not insane. And he thinks that, and she thinks that, and she thinks that, and that's what's so important in this time of evolvement. All these and, parallel messages, yes. Yeah. yeah. And there are times, you know, that I will look outside, and, and I'll be driving around, and and occasionally my mind goes, that's nuts. It's not going to change. Take a look. You know, my mind does it because it's plugged into the matrix. Right. And, uh, and and, it sound, and honestly, folks, what I've shared with you today sounds nuts, crazy, <laughs> deluded, right? <laughs> let's, let's, let's look at it from the, from the mental point of view, right? <laughs> I agree with you. It it's, does. But my heart. Out there, yeah. <laughs> but my heart. I can't, that's, you know? That's the key. That's it, right there. My, my heart, heart is telling me this is so cool and this is so fascinating and look. George has this to say, and Bruce has this to say, and Greg has this to say, and David has this to say, and I can list names, names, and, and you guys never even crossed paths before, and, and it's like, oh. yes, and I have this to say, you know, and it's just that that's what just totally fascinates me, but yes, I often go to the place, what am I, totally nuts? <laughs> <laughs> No, I can't be because George says the same thing, and David says the same thing. So, so thank you for being a voice and speaking out. Yes. Even when <laughs> there's an aspect boldly of you. stepping forward out of your closet, it's, it's <laughs> coming forward with what you had to say. Absolutely. So, well, this has thank been you. great fun as always. Yeah. Thank you, George. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've loved Thanks. it. I love you guys, and I love you, brother. So happy to be. Uh, it's so happy to be back. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah.
Yeah. Family. And I